I'm so excited to finally start my first Ramadan series. So since I started my YouTube channel, I really wanted to do this and finally I can. Now you might be thinking for those of you who don't follow Ramadan or are not Muslim, what is Ramadan? To start, Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and it's the holiest month of the year. This is the time that Muslims spend a lot of time not only with their families but also getting closer and spiritually connected and re-cleansing themselves as well. The most beautiful thing about this is that in order to have some type of self-control, Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset. Also, you might have some Muslims around you that do fast and they're probably like, well, not even water? Nope, not even water. Today I'm going to be showing you what I had growing up, which is a staple that I know that it's time for Ramadan, which is boot budgie. Boot budgie is chickpeas that are soaked overnight, and not only is it soaked overnight, but then it's sauteed with spices, onions, and then also potatoes, and then it's served hot. So stay tuned and watch me make some. To actually make boot bhaji or black chickpeas, there's a few steps that you have to do. To start off, you can see I'm adding three cups into a bowl and I'm soaking it overnight with water. By the way, you don't have to put this in the fridge nor do you have to shut it tight with your lid. I actually have the lid loosely on and I keep it on my countertop overnight. After about 8 hours, I'm then going to wash it and rinse it and then add it to a bowl with water again. The amount of water doesn't matter as long as it's getting covered. I then add about 1 tablespoon of salt so the salt can soak into the chickpeas. This makes it easier when you're cooking so you don't have to add so much salt later. I then boil it for about 2 hours and I know it's ready when I squeeze one of the chickpea and it easily cracks open but it's not mushy. I then drain the chickpeas and I wash it with cold water. The reason why I wash it with cold water is that when I cook it later that brown nice vibrant color is still there. I then separate each of the cups into two different containers and one cup I reserve because I'm going to cook it. I then put it away and store it in the freezer which will last me for about a month when I want to cook it during Ramadan. So this dish actually requires potatoes and I like to put more potatoes than usual. My mom usually puts about one potato but I put two just because I like potatoes a lot. While that's boiling, I'm then going to prep the ingredients that I need for the actual cooking. So I'm going to take one whole onion and I'm going to cut it into thin slices. Once I do do that, I'm then going to put it aside and then I'm actually going to grab two chili peppers. You can add more if you want, just put it according to your preference. Once I do cut that into thin slices, I then grab a handful of cilantro or you could grab any herb you want and I also mince that as well because I'm going to add that last for garnishing. I'm not sure if people do this but I like to add cucumbers as well because I like cool cucumbers with hot budgie. After that, I check for the potatoes and once they are done, you'll know that it is because you can stick a fork in and if the fork slides into the potato effortlessly, you know it's soft and ready. I then grab it and I'm using a glove because I'm not trying to burn myself. I dice it into little cubes and I set that aside. We're going to add this later to the little boot budgie that we're making. 
The only reason I'm doing this now and while I'm not cooking is because prep is super important and it makes everything faster. On a medium sized pan, I'm adding about 2 tablespoons of olive oil and then I'm adding in my onion and my green chilies. I'm also adding in 1 teaspoon ginger paste and 1 teaspoon garlic paste. I saute that well until it turns a little translucent and then I get ready to add my spices. I add 1 teaspoon cumin, 1 teaspoon coriander, half a teaspoon turmeric, and half a teaspoon of red chili powder. You can also adjust this according to your preference for spice level. And then I also add a half teaspoon of garam masala. By the way, this is optional. A lot of people don't even put this. I then add one teaspoon of salt, and you can put salt according to your preference. By the way, this isn't the only time that I add salt. I do add salt again for the jenna. Now, because I don't want the curry to stick to the bottom of my pan, I add in about three tablespoons of water in total. Right now, I start off with one tablespoon and then I add it in and then I also add another tablespoon and then while the curry flavors are mixing together, I then grab my jana. I add the jana in and don't worry it's not going to break if you start sauteing it and then I add in water. And now I add in just enough water that covers the boot. I like my bhaji to be a little more creamier and saucier than dry. Typically it's made more on the dry side which is fine because a lot of people prefer it that way but I like it more a little on the saucier side which is also why I add more potatoes. After about 25 minutes of the jana cooking, I then add my potatoes in and I let that cook for about 15 minutes. Once I do let it cook for 15 minutes, you'll see that I uncover my lid and now it's saucier and it's the thicker consistency that I want. Keep in mind though that the only reason it's so thick is because I add more potatoes. Remember, you don't have to add this much potatoes as much as I do. I then garnish it with the cilantro that I cut and now it's finally ready to enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy this when you guys are breaking your fast. And for those of you who are not Muslim, this is also vegan friendly. And for those of you trying to cut meat out your diet, this is also good for you. More importantly, the best part about this is that it's fulfilling and it's something that we had growing up for iftar, which is the meal that you break your fast right after sundown. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.